Welcome back to Sounds Like on Anderson's TV with CC Powell and, and this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are going to be attempting to sound like Led Zeppelin on a wow. project. Just my impression of Led Zeppelin's jet. It never crashed. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes, so you are going to be Mr. John Paul Jones. I'm going to try and be Mr. Jimmy Page. Uh, so, yeah, let's go and find you a base. Yes. So, I'm thinking this Sire version 2 Marcus Miller V3 is going to do the job. It's about 279, so, should be a good bet to me. It's a skinny Ooh, very neck. Nice. Yeah, it's stuck on the stand. They always are. <laughs> very cool. cool. Very nice. Okay, so guitar Jimmy Page, Les Paul. East Coast, everybody. So I'm gonna use this one without, see, mine wasn't stuck. <laughs> so this is, where are we? This is 199, and this will definitely do the job. Very nice burst. Feels, it's got the Jimmy Page vibe. I can feel it, I can feel it, it's good. Okay, so uh, amp for Mr. Jimmy Page. I'm choosing the Behringer HA40R. There's a video review of this up there, or up there, or down there, or here, or there, or, or there, over there. Or there. Anyway, uh, just gonna choose this because I only really need an overdrive shot. I don't really need clean because Jimmy used the, the Marshall Plexes and he also used a Super Bass as well. And there's also an orange in there as well. But I think the orange was just for a theremin. We're not gonna buy a theremin, or are we? Um, but I just need an amp with an overdrive channel that can kind of run fairly cleanish, and I'm going to try and find something like a an echo plexi kind of thing, just to kind of kick it a bit, and uh, like he did, and that's your lot. So yeah, and a wire pedal, and that's about that's it. About it for Mr. Jimmy Page. So, burner, ha, forty. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of thing are you looking for, Dave? I need like a wah, echo. Real, like an echo, like, a, like, like this is more of an analog echo because he used the, the, the echo plexes. I mean, early on, Jimmy Page used a fuzz pedal, but later on, he just went to use the amps instead uh, and just used the echo plex for driving. That's the era I'm going for. I'm not really going for the early tone bender period of fuzz. I'm going for the later Earl's, uh, not Earl's Court, uh, Madison Square Garden kind of stuff. So I need a wah and something that's going to echo and maybe something just to push the front end of the amp because I'm going to set the amp fairly clean and simulate the kick of a echo place. Wah pedal first. Kind of need a crybaby. Jimmy used a crybaby. He didn't use the... I did, well, he did use a Vox, but it's mainly a crybaby. But I don't think there is one. So we have one somewhere. Yes, indeed. So probably uh, probably not here, but in the video, when we get back to the video room, we'll probably use a crybaby. Uh, echo... Uh, over here. I did see... Uh, analog, analog echo. So I need something just to kind of push the front end, very kind of like low overdrive, just like the uh, echo plexes did. I, I know it's sweet cream. There you are. Hello. So I'm going for the sweet cream. I'm also going to go for the blues man as well because I don't know which one of these is going to do the best job. So I'll take both and we'll see. Uh, echo. I'm probably just going to go for. There was a Moore one I just saw, but it's gone. Uh, I mean, I could probably just get away with using um, a digital delay, but it would be nice to have that kind of thing. Oh, tape machine. Uh, Tone City tape machine. So it's going to be a Tone City extravaganza. <laughs> so it'd be an overdrive, delay, wah, theremin, loads of marshals, and a jet. So uh, yeah, off to the uh, plane graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Bass pedals, John yes. Paul Jones. So, although he didn't really use any, because we're going to be using such a small amp, I'm going to go with a compressor and a squish. Yes, squish, um, and an overdrive to kind of simulate that loud driving bass sound, and a phaser because if you listen to the isolated bass tone on Heartbreaker, it's got that kind of Leslie speaker thing. So, I'm hoping I can replicate that. So, let's see what we can find. Water bass. Water bass. Blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking the. Hmm. Love bomb. Yes, exactly. That's what, just, Very Led Zeppelin. Uh, I'm thinking the Boss BC1X for bass compression. Um, Call it a love bomb. I'm here all evening. <laughs> Not night like, though. Oh no. I have to go home at some point. So, <laughs> onto distortion. I'm thinking the Wild Fro is going to be a good shout because all I need is it really low in the mix. It's literally just to kind of kick out that overdriven bass sound. It was that one. What's that? Wait, which one? 
The wild frog. Ooh, <laughs> a hark to our predecessor. Yes. <laughs> As for phaser, I'm thinking Tome City, Summer Orange, does the job. Flat out, should be. Okay. Phasey, phasey, phasey. Water base. <laughs> <laughs> so, John Paul Jones, bass amp time. I know you use uh, two acoustic 360 bass amps, which they no longer make anymore, as far as I'm aware. And there's no way I would be able to lift one of them because they fell out of use because they're backbreakingly heavy. So, I'm thinking. This one. Is that a bass amp? Yes, oh. because it's got five strings, six, six. strings. Typical I bass can player, count. they can't count. <laughs> uh, one, two, nine. Yes, Ashdown Studio 10. Seems to be a good shout because from what I've heard, they are fairly versatile and it should do the job of a bass amp that no longer exists. And it has so, a drive. Exactly. So, so why not need pedals? Yeah, and I can lift it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back in the video room. Hello everybody. So uh, we have our setups for Mr. John Paul Jones and Mr. Jimmy Page. Um, a little bit smaller than what they used live in their stadium rigs, but I think it sounds really close. So, Miss Cece, tell us what you have here. I have the Sire V3 Marcus Miller, which is £179. The Wild Fro Distortion, which was 45 I believe. Uh, just to give it that kind of kick of a loud amp that we're trying to replicate with a very small amp. Uh, the Boss Bass Compressor BC1X, which was 175. And, and what the, were we using the compressor for? That is to give the amp kind of even more kick and basically to give it a massive sound in a small amp and to replicate the two huge stacks that John Paul Jones would have used. And this is the Summer Orange Tone City Phaser, which for the song Heartbreaker, if you listen to the isolated bass tone, it's got a really kind of weird Leslie speaker effect going on. And that's basically to try and replicate that as best as possible. So that's the special effect. It is indeed. Cool. So this is what my bass sounds like, just with no effects, just through the amp. And then adding the wild throw distortion. Right, so I'm gonna level up on that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, BC1X compressor. And then adding the phaser. Or alternatively, you can turn off the distortion for that one and just have. And that's pretty much it. I love that sound, that's wicked. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I, I've never actually heard in the Heartbreaker song that yeah, the bass is from for a Les Leslie cab. Yeah. I didn't know that until you told me. Mm. I was like, what? No, it's not. And it's like, oh my God, it is. It's so cool. <laughs> Again, you know, teams well, of experiment back then. I know. And a lot of his tone came from the distinction between using his fingers and a pick as well. Like that one uses a pick that's got that more aggressive tone and things like Days and Confused, he'll use his fingers. And he played really far over towards the neck, which gave it an even warmer tone. So And he did bass quite low for yep. bass players back then. A lot of you know, a lot of guys yeah, it, playing it right. It was here. more down here. Yes. Very cool. Awesome. Okay, so um my rig's one pedal shorter than yours. So uh, amp-wise, I've gone for the Behring, Behringer 
uh, hate the the half 40 uh, R with reverb. Uh, I'm only using the overdrive channel of the amp, but I don't, and I've got no overdrive pedals. I did pick two overdrive pedals, but the amp did what I needed it to do. So I've got no overdrive pedals. The only pedals I have are the Crybaby that's on the floor and the tape machine by Tone City. Uh, the guitar is an East Coast. And the reason I picked the more or less Paul size is because that's the era I'm going for with Jimmy Page, because obviously early on he had his, tele his Dragon Telecaster. And that was what a lot of the early albums were recorded using that and a Supro. But I wanted that kind of later, kind of like more 70s, Les Paul, Marshalls, Crank to the Teeth sound. And basically, this is basically exactly what Jimmy used. So I'm using the tape machine as his Echo Plex. Wah is just a wah. I'm using the amp basically kind of dialed in as a more kind of cranked up uh, sound. So like a... Oh, yeah, I've muted it because I'm clever. <laughs> does the job and the tape machine was kind of like that kind of just for heartbreaker is kind of just gives it a little bit of a kind of uh, a bit more depth <laughs> So, very simple setup. I mean, it's, that's basically what Jimmy had uh, later on was just Les Paul into two Marshalls, uh, orange uh, amp for his theremin, um, wire pedal, tape delay, Les Pauls. That's it. Yep. Very simple. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. And um, my setup came just under £500. The tape machine is about £40. The Crybaby is about 70 to 80 The amp is 90 pound 99 pounds and the guitar is 200 so this is all basically the setup i've got is under 500 pounds what, what did yours uh, come mine from? came to around 600 i think so a little bit more expensive still not bad hail the <laughs> winner no i'm joking i'm not, I'm not that bitter. <laughs> anyway it's, um it's worth mentioning as well for the bass if you're using a jazz bass um john paul jones rolled off the tone pretty much all the way and i'm fairly sure he's using the bridge pickup weirdly enough and then just playing really close to the neck. Just to give it a bit more... <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's got that kind of like sound when you... Yeah. That's the technical term. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. And I'll say, oh yeah, another thing as well, just to let you know uh, how I've got the amp set. So Jimmy wasn't a mass distortion kind of guy. I would actually say he kind of like got less distorted as his career went on. So early, early days, I didn't use a fuzz pedal because that wasn't the era I was kind of going for. But early on when Jimmy did use a fuzz, it's a lot more kind of like... Uh, you know, more gainy, but later on in those late seventies where he's got the Les Paul, the fifty nine Les Paul and the Marshalls and the Echo Plex, it's a lot cleaner sound. So it's more you know, that that kind of thing. And basically I've just basically got the, the gain and the volume set at uh, eleven o'clock. Uh, the EQ on this amp is actually like a parametric, so straight up is is kind of like neutral and then you can, can cut and boost. And I've got the mids at 12 o'clock and I've got the treble and the bass cut just to give it a bit of just that kind of honk. So that's, that's basically what I did there. What, how did you yeah, set your Yeah, so amp? I've got the added bonus minor on the top. Yeah. So yes. I had drive all the way off because to me it just sounded a little bit too fizzy compared to that. It didn't really give the right tone. <laughs> uh, the bass is all the way over to the right. I, I cannot visualize a clock, so. Uh, low mids, that way. 12 o'clock, mids, 12 o'clock, treble, two o'clock. So and that's basically straight. it, but um, for Days and Confused, I've rolled off the treble. Cool, easy peasy. Yep. So, uh, there you go. Uh, that is that is very, very simple, very, very easy kind of thing. It's just it's just getting that kind of dialed in, but yeah, it's great. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and yeah, we'll hope to see you again for another one from me and Mr. CC over here. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and uh, yes, goodbye now. Thank you Bye. Much.